Hey everybody, what do? Bring you guys another video of Elite Smash. I'm gonna be doing these more often. Um, and when I do these type of videos, I'm gonna be commentating and share my thought process. So instead of me like really trying to win, so I could just good look good on YouTube in front of the people who watch this video, more educational purposes. So you see me in a situation, I'm gonna be sharing my thought process, what I'm looking for, how to deal with situations, so that way you guys can learn from it and know what to do or not do. If I do things wrong and I get hit, I'm gonna call it out. If I do things right, I'll call it out. And uh, yeah, so these videos from like this point on, they're mostly education to help you guys out there, right? Let you know what I'm thinking and I guess how to think when I think properly. So we're actually gonna switch it up a bit and we're going to go Peach this time. Cause I love both these girls, but um, I usually use Daisy for these type of things because I feel like when it comes to these two, Peach gets most of the attention. You mostly see more content of Peach than Daisy. So I gotta be one of the many few out there to freaking rep her, all right? Rep her, man. I love both these characters, man. I'm happy Daisy's in the game. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna switch it up for a bit of variety. Right, we're gonna go Peach. So, let's get into the games. And I do apologize for the other video where I was fighting Banjo and you couldn't hear me really and during the matches. I did not know that until too late. But I still wanted to put the video up because it was the first time fighting a Banjo. It was a new experience. So I guess I wanted to show you guys how I try to deal with new things. Okay, so right now we have a, uh, a Bowser. Hey, this guy is really aggressive, as you can see. That's not... That was a bad thing that I did there. Okay. Seems like he'll double jump a lot, as you can see. So, people who double jump, I just beat them to the punch. Ooh. So, we're just gonna... Okay, he aired out. He's not dead. He's not dead. That's not gonna kill him. Keep air dodging like it's gonna kill himself. Oof. Apply a bit of pressure. Wait for that. I think so long you're the best. I actually should have punished him for that. He might jump. There you go. Ooh. He might roll. Ooh, I think he's gonna roll. Should be it. There you go. Just wait a bit. People tend to want to jump a lot. So that's usually the first option that I look for. <laughs> my dare placement. I mean, not my dare placement. My dare placement was bad. So I kind of got caught up in that. Woo! She fared. Okay. I'm making up for that mistake. Don't let things like that discourage you. Since he likes jumping, I could probably end it here. Mm. Okay, wait for the jump. There you go. Should be a dead bother if I do this right. And I didn't. And I just killed myself. Well, when the devil wants you to fail, but the Lord got you. Jump for me. Ah, that was supposed to be a ground float in there, man. Can I counter this? No. <laughs> I was trying to see if I can counter it. Okay, okay. He loves to jump. Got my 70%. I gotta beat. Bit more mobile here. Just apply the pressure to get that damage. Oh, that could have ended bad for me. Uh oh. I can't take another one of those. He might bear. Yep. He might jump here. He might jump 
again. Just wait for him to move. There you go. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I gotta be really careful right now. I don't wanna really push a button. Coming back, he does have the RB. He's trying to wait for my jumps. <laughs> my grab. I didn't get the grab. I actually should have down tilted right there. Ah, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Pretty much, uh. Well, that's a rocky start for the first match, eh, guys? Ew. It's alright. I got. I'm pretty confident with his habits and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, man. Let's, let's play some more. All right, we try to be a bit more careful. Hey, go wait for the double jump. People love double jumping. Mm. Just gonna roll. I'm gonna just ooh. Okay, going to anti-air me? Mm. I'm just going to chase my lightning. I don't really want to push a button. just going to jump here. Yeah, but I knew it. Oh, something like that. Okay. Jump again. Gotta be careful when I'm stationary like that. Shit. Jump. Oh! Okay, he's actually... He's actually starting to switch the way he recovers a bit. Oh, this is a blow-up. Okay. See if he's gonna roll. Oh, he did! But I wasn't confident if my, uh... Because he took a while to do something, so I wasn't sure if he was gonna roll. Or not. That really wasn't the safest thing to do, even though I got the kill. I should not be autopiloting turn up the dash attack. Yeah, I could cook a man. Is he gonna jump? Yeah. He's a jumper. Okay. okay, that is not safe. I think I'm dead here. Yeah. Oh! I'm gonna jump here. Yeah, he has a habit of jump jumping. Be a bit more aggressive on the ledge. Oh, mm, I didn't block. I'm gonna wait this out because he can move before me. So after the flames, I'm not really gonna try to do anything. So he's facing fair. So he's double jumping. He's so I'm just kind of. Waiting for something here since he likes to jump a lot. I'll throw out a few fairs of my own. There you go. I don't know why he swung out there like that. I was like really not near him. Well, people panic for like the wrongest reasons. <laughs> Got to set neutral there for a second. Wait a bit. I don't care if you're a beast or command grabs me. I gotta take those and at least a blow. Mm. My fair placement wasn't bad. It was bad. Get this turn up here. My jump. Yep. See if I can get this. Nope. I should have waited. There you go. Just wait a bit. Alright, let me see if I can get this. There you go. I'm like, let me see if I can get this. Since he has a jumping habit, I might be able to, to a beat to, to finish finish him off. So you can see right there, I was, uh, I was a bit more careful. Um, I didn't really throw a lot of attacks 
Like you see other peace players doing, like you know, going for bear bears and this and that. Because um, really against players like this, sometimes these guys are like really random. And just throwing stuff out there like that. Uh, Bowser has more range than me, and he seems to be approaching me with fair a lot. His fair outranges my bear, and my fair is just slow. So I gotta be careful. I'll throw out like a few attacks, and here and then I'll just wait because I got a turnip in my hand. If he does anything unsafe, turnip is free damage, and then I could just start my aggression. Okay, I'm gonna back up. I think he's gonna run towards me. <laughs> yeah, I caught me. <laughs> I kind of want to jump at him, but I gotta be careful. I'll take the damage. Okay, I'll take the grabs. It's not anything big. It's not even gonna get anything off of it. I might jump here. Ooh! I went through him when I did that. That's why I didn't get that. Okay, I'll be careful. I'll take a command grab any day. Oh, I was not confident when I did that. I was sure to get the hit. Okay. I thought I crossed him up. I was waiting for him to do something. Okay, let's be careful here. Double jump. There you go. Wait for the jump. Okay, he's starting to recover a bit high, so now I have to be a bit more patient with my turnip tosses. Run up up to him. That's a new one. Mm. Okay, now he's now worried of the jumps. So I gotta be careful myself. He might down B. Yeah. Well, close enough, I guess. Just gonna. There you go. I usually have the advantage in that situation if I'm at a distance like that. If he swings first. Oh. The reason I air dodge because the up B I was I thought he would do that. Jump. There you go. Now I gotta be careful when I'm doing the dares because Um the way I'm doing the dares, I could get anti air pretty easily. Just do that. Up behind him. Okay. Mm. All right, let's get him out of here. There you go. Cause now I noticed that he starts to cover a bit high, so I can get a force smash. Okay, I gotta be careful how I'm doing things here. See what I mean with the there? Right there? You do it that way, he can kind of get free of the... Oh, don't! Because he likes to jump towards me a lot, so I gotta be careful how I do this. I don't wanna be in the air too much. Mm. There you go. He might not be here. Or, well, close enough, I guess. Mm. All right there? Yeah, there you go. Okay, he might jump here. Yeah, he does. I don't think this is a dead Bowser. Okay, we'll do that. that that'll... That'll seal the deal. So, you notice, you know, I'm not really playing fast or, or anything like that. Which, in a way, I guess I, I should. But with players like these, you know, they, they tend to jump a lot, want to double jump, and then come down swinging. And being close to Bowser, you have to be very careful because he hits mostly a grappler, I guess you can say. He has a command grab. Um, his grabs can deal a decent amount of damage. Um, he has a B and a shield. So those are some of the things that I, I have to look out for. So that's why um there's times where you know I'll move in, I'll apply my pressure, and then I'll kind of just back off for a bit to, to see what it is. And then if I have the opponent conditioned, then I'll kind of uh I'll start applying a bit more pressure than than usual. These matches I felt like I wasn't doing it that much. 
and that I should be applying more pressure, but I'm just really trying to be careful. I'm trying to pinpoint my uh, thought process, you know, to what I'm looking for. And when you guys do the, do these, I can't talk today. When you guys do this in matches, you know, you're thinking, you're looking for stuff that you can take advantage of, seeing what your opponent does in various situations. When you get comfortable, then you're like, okay, now I'm, I'm about to start going ahead. Because I feel safe. I feel like I, I got everything down. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start river dancing on these bastards. You know what I'm saying? I left that other room because I didn't get a game. And now, I'm trying to see if I get another one. But yeah, uh, those matches, I feel like I should have been a little bit more aggressive than usual. There was times when he was jumping around. And um, I guess I, I was a bit stationary. But my reason for that is when people double jump a lot, they're usually waiting for you to swing. And as Peach and Daisy, I don't want to be the first one to swing. Because it leaves me open. Like, her moves are good. You see Peach, you know, tossing bear over and over and, you know, fair here and there. But I don't want to do too much against people like that. Because they're literally, they're literally waiting for something. And then you, you're going to get blown up for it. Okay, so we got a game in wise. This match is a bit... I don't know how to describe this match. It's kind of weird. So, uh, I have a feeling. That's one thing I look out for with Game & Watch. That. Knock them in the air. They kind of want to throw out the Panic Key. The Panic Kingdom Hearts Key. <gasps> Damn, that kind of hurt, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I can see that this guy's a bit... Yeah, he's tossing stuff out. He's literally just tossing out a lot of attacks. So I gotta be a bit more care careful here. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Oh no, lag boys. Oh, that's right, he can flip that. So I'm gonna take a, a more of a. There you go. Oh, I could have regrabbed it. Come on, Dark Peach. Thank you. Could have grabbed that. So I'm gonna take a more linear approach here. And this guy, he's tossing out a lot of attacks. As you can see, like, nobody in their right mind for a combo breaker toss out a smash attack. He's just doing stuff right now. So against players like this, you gotta be really careful. Let them swing first. There's no need to do anything fancy. Okay, he's probably gonna try to reflect this. So I'm just gonna hold on to this. There you go. He didn't try to reflect it, but I had to make sure because any character that has a reflector and they see a bomb, they immediately start spamming that. What are you gonna do? Okay. Okay. I really wanna count hers up, B, but I don't think you can. Okay. He might jump. No? Faking approach, there you go. Well, faking assault, really. Really, really much of me faking an approach. Just kind of an assault. I don't think that should have killed him, but okay, we'll, 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 we'll take it. We'll take that. Uh, so yeah, you saw the first stock. Um, he was just tossing out attacks, no matter. Any opportunity had tossed an attack out, he was tossing moves out. And I, I was I was getting hit first. So I'm like, okay, um, this guy, he is kind of panicking. So after I lost that stock, I decided to take it a bit slow and um, just bait stuff. And as you can see, I got a reverse three stock from just switching my play and my mindset, my way of thinking. Uh, sometimes all that fancy stuff is not needed. The great Bruce Lee once said, it was a quote from Bruce Lee. Um, he was like, uh, sometimes just being simple is it's like all you need. Oh, I thought I spaced that um, there. Okay. 
See, I had to back away. You saw that how I gave him the hit? Because this guy, he's a bit nutty. That was a, not a really good time for me to do that. Okay, I gotta be careful here. He, oof. Okay, he might jump. No, okay, he's covering well. And that was a waste of a turn up because he was blocking. I don't think I can get much. He might jump. Yep, there you go. People love jumping out of shield. And that's usually the number one. Oh, let me back away because I had a feeling I was going to spam that. Let me just keep moving here. Oh, I think the bomb stopped right there. Okay. He might jump. There you go. I wanted to side B, but I wasn't sure I would get it. Because usually when people try to land on stage, I try to cover the option with side B. Oh, I might die here. I gotta go for the ledge. Just take my time. Mm. He might up B to try to hit me. Right. This guy. I'm just watching him very carefully. Alright, I'll throw out a few fares here and there. Just uh, let them know that when you try to get in my space, you know, hit you. Ah! Definitely just smashed that out. I gotta move. There you go. See, that's why I, ru I ran off away. What the hell? Really the bomb? Okay. I thought he was wrong. Okay. Might jump here. There you go. And that's always the number one option. It's best to look at because that's the most common thing. Because jumping out of shield, it can lead to a lot of things. Like you could use the single jump and attack. You can jump in one direction and then jump in another direction to fake your opponent out. It's because of that, that mentality, that take advantage of it. Because people have that mentality when it comes to jumping out of shield. I'm like, I'm gonna take advantage. Okay, yeah. Uh. Mm, see, that wasn't guaranteed. I really shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> okay. I'm just letting this guy attack whenever he wants. Giving him a false sense of security. <laughs> he always wants to down smash. Oof! Committed a bit too hard on that. I tried to counter. You guys saw. You guys saw it, right? You saw the counter come out. Mm -mm. My jump. Mm, maybe he's learning his lesson. I gotta be careful here. Down. There you go. I did that just to bait that out of him. Mm -mm. Oh, I fucked up. There you go. Just microspace a bit and uh, get the full smash. So yeah, man, gotta be a bit more careful. I'm a little, I'm a little eh about that counter though, cause I saw the counter come out. I guess uh, it ain't come out. I ain't do it fast enough. Cause I'm like, he's gonna swing here. I know he's gonna swing. So let me uh, let me toss out my baby. Have it ramen out his ass. Uh, my baby didn't come out in time. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess um, we'll keep playing until this guy decides to dip. But if you see for a bit while longer, um, I will just end the video. Because I feel like stuff like this um, is really educational. Because I know there's a lot of players who fight people who just toss shit out. And don't know how to handle it properly. They get confused. You know, so this is a. Oh, that was a bad turn. Oh, gotta be careful. Ugh! I'm trying to nair. I should be not be doing that. gonna 
float over that. Don't feel like playing no guessing games with that shit. Can I block these? I think I'll back up. There we go. Mm. Oh, I tried to force smash that, but uh, right, I'm gonna toss out a few fairs just to keep them in check and let them know. I don't want to toss out too many because you know after a while it kind of gets a bit telepathic, and in those situations I could probably be doing something better than going for fairs that this guy's not gonna jump into. Okay, so I'm in the corner right now. I kind of want to get out of the position. Kind of has me unlock. Good stuff on his part. Waited for him to swing. Wait for the dare. Mm, he didn't dare this time. Space that. I can get out the way. I'm actually going to throw this up in the air here. So, I got to be careful. I had a feeling I was going to get the hit off. Ooh, he's running towards me. Like, I saw him running towards me, but I noticed it a bit too late. Oh, that's not safe. Definitely. Definitely going to get punished for that one. That's a blow up right there. Okay, so throw it to the back. That was not a good time to throw it up in there. Okay, so I kind of, he's really aggressive right now. I'm going to try to throw out a few bears here. But that bomb, I don't know if my bear will actually snuff out the bomb. And then I have to look out for his bear. Okay, he might jump here. Yeah, he did, but that bomb actually saved him. Bait that. Okay. Let's take my time here a bit. I have a pretty nice lead. So I don't have to really do anything. Just be safe about my decisions and my micro spacing was kind of bad. But it's alright. Can't let stuff like that get to you. I'm pretty confident on my abilities to adapt in the way I'm playing right now. The way I'm playing right now is pretty good, so... I could I could afford a few mistakes like that. It's not really a big deal. Get that bear out because he loves to toss out panic down smashes. Okay, so now I'm a bit comfortable. I'm a uh, I'm gonna speed things up here. Go for more approaches, more attacks. Ah, the roll. Okay, I'm actually gonna go for the ledge here. Damn. That bomb, like, I think the bomb kind of stunned me in the air a bit. Okay, he's, like, really edging. I'm okay. Okay. Let's not block so much. Oh, my God, that could have been bad. There, there you go. Just wait for that. He might jump here. He did. But I, the distance I was at between me and him, I wasn't sure I would get it. He might jump towards me. Oh, he's waiting for me to toss a turn up. Use that turn up to kind of keep him in shield. Okay, he's a bit aggressive now. As you can see, he's coming towards me a lot. Toss that way for there. Well, fucked up. Man, bait that out of him. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Uh, so I started to be a, a bit more, uh, a little bit more aggressive. Started to, to speed up my gameplay a little bit because I kind of know how he is. So I'm like, okay, I can start applying a, a bit more pressure. But like, Peace and Daisy, you always want to abuse that pressure game. You know, you always want to abuse it whenever you can. Uh, um, okay, I don't... Oh, for a second, I thought my Wii froze. I mean, not my Wii, my Switch. Oh, I got a communication error. Uh, I think my internet went... Well, I guess we'll just end this here. Um, end the video here. 30 minutes long. Pretty good uh, time then. So let's see. Let's give myself an analysis here. 
What did I do good? What I did good was uh, a very common collective, I feel. And when I got hit uh, or lost a stock, kind of adjusted my gameplay. As you um, you saw with the Bowser when uh, he beat me. Well, I'd say with the Bowser, I I was actually doing fine. Just a few executions here and there, um, like when I SD'd, and I guess certain inputs and positioning, I had to position myself a bit better, so if I want to bait something, I bait and I'm safe, not just bait something, and then something comes down, then I get hit. And as you can saw, I switched it up in the previous games. And then with the, uh, the game watch, like after you took the first stock, like the way he was just attacking, always wanted to do something. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to, I gotta slow this down because he's definitely not just gonna be patient. He's just gonna be tossing up a lot of attacks. So I'm just gonna wait for it and then I'll just take advantage of him. And the way he was moving, I wasn't really trying to be too speedy or too aggressive, you know, too fancy with text and whatnot because he always he's always doing random stuff and always tossing out a move. So I have to be I have to be aware of that. And I kinda kept my gameplay somewhat simple. Until certain situations where I felt comfortable, and then that's when I started to be a bit more aggressive. But as Bruce Lee said, you know, uh, sometimes being simple is usually the best. There's a quote from Bruce Lee. Doesn't exactly go that way. But he's basically saying, like, sometimes just keeping it simple. Um, I, that's all you really need. No no need for a uh, fancy gameplay and whatnot. And then when you really got control of the match, and your opponent is actually respecting you, and you have the advantage... Then that's when you go ham and you start to overwhelm them to break the defense and get the hits off. So I feel like that, that, that was a good thing about me. Um, patient, observant, calm and collective. Things that were not good about me throughout this session was um, I felt like there's times where I could uh, have been a bit more aggressive because um, I had control of the match. Um, the pacing and the momentum in the match was in my favor. And instead of moving in, I just decided to sit back and let my opponent keep swinging. Uh, so I probably should have just started going in a bit more and just overwhelmed the shit out the dude. No. But usually against players like that, like the, like you saw in this video, um, I usually let them throw the first punch because it's just so much easy to start the shit. And get damage off. Instead of, you know, having them blocking and then you're doing all this fancy stuff, just try to open them up. I'm like, I'm a I'm just gonna keep moving, I'm gonna be safe about it. You could always throw the first punch. As you saw with the game watch, you always want to dare and same thing with the bowling, I was just waiting for it. Same thing with double jumps, catching that. But I feel like because of this it could be a habit where I'll do this against everyone when there's no need to. Crucial moments I can't be doing that. So uh when I have like really dominant control, I should just abuse what my character can do, just start going ham. So there's that. Uh, edge guarding. I think my edge guarding could be a bit tweaked. I did get a good edge guard on Bowser with, with the counter. I guess Game and Watch is, is a gamble because I can't really snuff out his up B unless I have a. I guess a Stitch Face will probably beat it. And I'm not sure about Mr. Saturn. Maybe a uh, Mr. Saturn would. Would get him. Uh, not too sure about that. But as guarding, uh, like game watch, it's a bit tricky. Bowser, I think it was okay. I mean, I was harassing him, but it was some as guard where I didn't finish the job. So I guess I, I would have to tweak that up a bit more. Um, I guess that's it, really. I think everything else, based on the people that I played. Um, outside of that, the wrong two things. Be a bit uh, more aggressive. Um, I don't try to throw out too many attacks. But I guess if I'm not throwing out attacks, my opponent can easily get close to me. But at times, that's what I want them to do. Create a false sense of security so I can just go in and um, hit them. Especially if I got a turn up in my hand and I take control of the match. Um, but I can't always have that mindset. Sometimes I might have to throw a few punches here and there. I guess it really depends on the player but um i guess i could throw a, a few more punches to keep people in check uh yeah, that's it really so overall 
Well, you guys saw how the masters went. So, like, that's pretty much an analysis. I'm not really going to grade myself or whatnot. Again, this is just education, no purposes. Um, always evaluate your matches, even if you win. I don't care if you three stock somebody and you three stock somebody over and over, you find people you beating their ass. Don't think like you, you freaking clean, you freaking perfect. Always see what you can do better so that way you can reduce the chances of losing. Because people tend to win, they fight and they win against their opponents and then they don't switch up. Because, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that mentality can actually screw you over, and that's how habits are formed. So, gotta be uh, a bit careful like that. That's why I try to mentally train myself not to have those type of habits. When I fight people, I punish them for the same thing over and over, and it's hard for them to stop, because that's what they're used to. They don't fight opponents that are, like, adaptive and breaking. You know, that's how game and watch. Always want to dare. People always want to double jump. Bowser always, always want to come back with dare, and so so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was insightful. It was helpful. If it wasn't, um, I'm sorry. I do try. But if it was, <gasps> yay! So I'm going to be doing these often. Um, thanks for the my regular subscribers. And as well as my veteran subscribers. All you guys together are freaking savages. And have a good day. Bye-bye.